Hello and welcome back to Glow Energy's YouTube channel. I'm Pete the Plumber and we're here today to do a small video on how to use your Honeywell T3R program or room thermostat. The Honeywell T3R consists of two parts. You have the thermostat which you can see here and then the receiver box which is wired up to the boiler. The thermostat will send a signal to the receiver box which will then tell the boiler to turn on or off. So the thermostat has five buttons. If you lift the front flap up, you can see all five. Top right hand side, you have the plus and the minus buttons. Underneath on the right, you have on off button. In the middle, also a manual button. And on the far left hand side, you have the menu button. We are going to set the date and time. Press the menu button. And then once we're into this setting, we are going to press either the plus or the minus buttons. This will change the top to set. Once we are here, press the button directly below the tick. Press the button below the tick again, and we will be able to change the year with the plus or minus buttons once again. Once you are happy with the year, press the button directly below the tick again. We follow the same process again, press the tick again. Then we can change the month. Press the same button again, and we can change the date. Once we are happy, press the tick again, we can move over to the time now. Once again, we use the plus or minus buttons to change the time until we get to the end. On the screen at the moment, you can see two lots of digits. The top is the time, the bottom is the temperature of the room. If you press any button, the screen will illuminate. At this point, the time, as you can see, has changed from time to target temperature. Once the screen goes back into standby mode, the target temperature at the top will revert back to the time, as you can see. There is two different modes the thermostat can be used in, auto and manual. At the moment, the box is around manual, which means it is in manual mode. To use in manual mode, you can just use the plus and the minus buttons. This will change the target temperature, which is at the top of the screen, as you can see. Once the target temperature is above the room temperature, it will send the signal to the receiver and ask the receiver to come on. You will know the receiver is demanding because it has a second green light and at this point the boiler is also ready to fire up. To turn the heating off in manual mode, you will want the target temperature below the room temperature. We will reduce the target temperature at the top of the screen as you can see until it is below the room temperature. At this point it will send another signal to the receiver and ask the receiver to go out. This will knock the boiler off like so. There is also auto mode. To get it into auto mode, press the middle button on the front of the thermostat. This will take the box around the auto symbol. Next of all, you will need to press the button directly below menu. This will ask us then whether we want to program. Where the tick is, press the button below. It will then ask us whether we want Monday, or Monday to Friday. If not, you can press the plus and it will take you to Saturday and Sunday. For this, we're going to use Monday and Friday. Press the button below the tick again. It will then ask us for the first time that it's going to come on in the morning. Press the tick. It will take us over to the time and we can change the time by pressing the plus or the minus. This will be in intervals of 10 as you can see. Once you have got the time set, you will press the tick button again. And then it will ask us what temperature we want to set it at. This can be achieved by using the plus or the minus button once again. Press the tick button and it will take us across. This is in the second section, P2 as you can see here now. Press the tick button again and it will ask us for the time. Tick button again and temperature once again. Once we press the tick button again, it will take us across to P3 which is now the second time on for the day. Press the tick button again, it will ask us for the time and once again for the temperature. Then over to P4, which is the last time that it, the boiler will go off for the day. Once again, press the tick button, use the, the time and the temperature once again. And then it will ask us to do the same for Saturday and Sunday. Once again, with the Saturday and Sunday, press the tick button. It will give us first time on. Again, as you can see, we can confirm the times and temperatures by pressing the button below the tick each time until we get to the end. Last one. And that is it. Auto mode is now set up. 
So if you leave it in auto mode now, the boiler will come on to the times and temperatures that you have set in. A couple of things to note, one of the biggest queries we have is that people don't understand why the boiler comes on within the off period on the programmer. This will usually be because the set temperature is too high. If you do not want the boiler to come on at all within the off period, you need to set the temperature as low as possible, which will go down to 5 degrees on the programmer. A lot of people ask me what temperature they should keep their room thermostat set at. This is all dependent on the property and the person. 21 degrees is an average room temperature, which is normally sufficient for most people, but it may be too hot or too cold for you personally. So you have to decide what temperature you want it set at. Last of all, if you are having problems with your heating coming on, it may be a problem with your thermostat. You will need to check your receiver box. If there is one or two green lights on the receiver, then this should be working. If there is a red light, then there is a problem. This may need further investigation. Get in contact with your local plumber. Thanks for watching Glow Energy's YouTube channel. I've been Pete the Plumber. Like, subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more tips and tricks videos like this. Thank you.